Hey guys, it's me Bailey. Um, today I have to do voiceover, and right now I'm saying, um, like subscribe and everything like that. You know what I mean. So today I'm gonna be doing how to do like eyebrows and lips. Um, I am saying other things in here. I am sorry, but um, there was a lot of background noise, so I had to do a voiceover. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this, and yeah, I guess we're gonna get started after I'm done talking. So, we're still going. Yep, we're still going. Still going. Still going. Still talking. Still talking. You guys can just skip this all because it's gonna go forever right now. Okay, come on. Stop talking. How long was that? Okay, so first I have my sketchbook. And, uh, if you guys want me to do what's all in my sketchbook, get this video, um, to, like, five likes or something, I don't know. But, so, first, I'm just gonna take my pencil, of course, and we're gonna draw the lips first. So, right now, you want to draw, like, this M shape. I'm going to do an example right now, and then, um, later on, I will do a, um, like, my actual hard work. So, after, so, I'm just gonna draw this M. I'm gonna, I fixed it, and that's my M I'm gonna use for this whole time. Like, my hard work M. So, back to this M. So, now, you want to do, like, a tiny M right under it. So, I'm drawing a new M, by the way, because the other one was too, like, close together. So, draw an M. Then, you wanna draw, like, the same exact thing right under but you want to make to where it has like this horizontal lines to where they're not very like the same length but you just want to have a horizontal line you don't want to have like a um like match up you want to have horizontal lines with it so yeah i'm gonna do it on my hard work now so i did it um i um i'm gonna have to no, so basically pretend it like those aren't there. So I'm just erasing them right now. Basically, so now you want to draw a line right underneath your tiny M that's not very curved or kind of the same shape. So you, however much um length between the top one, the top M and the bottom one uh, lip, you want to do the same thing. So I'm gonna do it over here on the next one. So I did it. Um, so. I don't know what I'm saying, but I I have no idea what I'm saying. So, now that I've done that, uh, I don't know what I'm saying in this part right now. But I'm just going to let myself talk, I guess. So, uh, uh, I don't know. So, that's my hard work. And so, I'm actually going to fix those corners right there because they look weird. So, you probably can't tell, but I did make them a little bit more different. You probably won't be able to tell at all, but I feel like I did. So, now you want to draw a line that matches up from each side of the lip. You want to go from the top corner to the next corners. So, I'm going to do that on my hardboard. So, you want to go from the top corner, the, the middle corner, and you want them to meet, and then you want to meet the bottom one. And that's kind of so now you want to do like the same thing for the other side and you want to meet the you know other side and yes i will be erasing that and so now i'm going to do it on my other one so i did it um this isn't the end you're probably like oh those are lips i mean you can leave it like this but now usually i always shade like add like you know I don't know, like you color it and whatever. So now, at this point, I'm about to color it in, like with little sh shade stuff, whatever, like my pencil. So right now, you just wanna like do what I'm doing. You don't want a lot everywhere. Just want to, f you just wanna try to fill it in. Doesn't matter if there's Caspers everywhere. I call Caspers little ghosts, like white spots. So now I'm gonna do it. So I finished. Now I'm gonna do it with my hard work looking lip. I know they don't, it doesn't look like hard work, but I'm just doing an example and then I'm doing the actual one. So this is upside down. I have no idea why. 
but you can erase when you shade it. Like you can, like shade. Like you're gonna have to shade it after you color it in. And I don't know why it's upside down, but you can erase if you get it outside of the lips. I hope the rest of this isn't upside down. And now you just want to like. You don't have to do this, but I'm doing this for just like extra. You make your little circle. Um, you make um. You know your little line. This is gonna give it look its glossy look. So now you're gonna make one on the bottom lip. Like, of course, why not? And so now you want to erase, like, around, like, a, not, like, you just want to erase, like, those little circles, whatever. And you want to erase, like, a little bit of space around it. Just in case you don't know what I'm talking about, this will be, it will be in the next clip right here. So, see, I'm saying, so in case you don't know what I'm talking about, you erase like this, so, like little squares, and then you want to repeat what you drew right over what you draw, you drew, and then you want to shade it, and then you want to color it back in, so it leaves the white behind it instead of gray, because you colored it hard, Just like this. So it gives it that glossy look, and um, that is basically it for the lips. And now we are going to move on to the eyebrows, and yeah, I don't know when we're going to do that. But here is an example of me just doing it very fast. They look like actual lips, but not really. But you're just going to draw your ends, you draw your lines, and you do that. That's it. And it's not very hard. You shade it and you're done. But I was working hard on it because I wanted you guys to see, like, what it... I don't know why I did, like, an example, two examples. But now we... Okay, I made a bad, really bad tongue. But now we are moving on to the eyebrows, I believe. Yes, I did make a face. Okay. So now we were on to the eye we are moved on to the eyebrows on the next page because the other one was really messy. It was all drawn on, whatever. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna want to draw first is your normal the straight line. And draw another line because I'm the hard work one is on the bottom. Hop one slit just like example. I'm gonna draw a line and I was being really weird about this um when you see my handwriting i am in fifth grade um i have like the worst handwriting of, and like any fifth grader could have i don't i don't know why i do that but oh well so like the hard work is at the bottom examples on top so now you're gonna want to draw like a half like end of a rainbow or whatever and I'm going to erase that line because it's, like, really big, but you can't really tell on camera. So, now I'm going to also do it to the other one. So, I did it. I made it a little longer. I don't know why. I didn't feel like erasing it, though. So, now you're going to do, like, another one. And you want to, like, keep making it longer until those two points meet and you can erase the edge. And I'm coming back when I finish my next one. So, I did so. And now what you're going to do is you're going to make, like, little lines, whatever. And you want to fill in the eyebrow. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just fill it in because we will get to where we fill in all of our Caspers, our ghosts, our, our white spaces. So now I'm doing it for the next one, my hard work one. So now that I've done that, you want to do, like, you want to like so like make lines, but you want to do it like every, like tinier lines, like swiggles. You want to swiggle, but you want to keep your pencil on the paper. So I'm doing that, and I will come back when I finish it for my other one. So I finished it. Um. So now you're going to draw like really like um hard like you want to push down not too hard on the pencil just a little harder and you want you want to make darker lines. And I'll come back when I finish my other one. So I came back, well, apparently. And so I've done that and so I'm just doing whatever right now. So now 
I believe I'm so you wanted to make shorter swiggle like shorter like the same swiggles but you want to make them harder but you want to keep them also the, also the swiggles close together but tinier so I finished that and so now we are going to shade and this is where you know where all of our caspers go away our ghost our white places so I'm going to come back when I finish the you know other one but I'm just kind of shading so basically if you do that you can use your eraser and you can erase it around the eyebrow but I'm coming back when I finish my other one so I did it and I erased her all around forget about all that you know like the erasing stuff whatever um but this is your eyebrow and yeah that's basically it um yeah it's kind of just your eyebrow so me talking again but so i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure you guys subscribe turn on notifications so you get notified every time we get a new video and like this video and i also want you guys to comment if the eyebrow was your favorite and like this video and subscribe if the lips were your favorite